Hello. Welcome to Card Night. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Virgo monthly money and career reading for September 2022. Virgos, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming month, September 2022. Money and career, Virgo. September 2022. What energies do we have coming in? What is pushing us forward? What are we letting go? Virgo, there you are. Virgo. Money and career. Lots of cards coming out. Oh, wow. Lots of cards flipping out, Virgo. All right. Let's see what we have here. side ten of pentacles ten of pentacles finding your harmony settling down in a certain uh financial comfort finding your finding a certain serenity in your home whatever you call home, uh, in your family, in your settings. It seems like you have an offer here, page of cups, messages coming in, um, someone contacting you, emails, text, whatever it is. There's something um, that is triggering a huge transformation. Um, the death card and the hermit, that is putting you into a certain um, certain introspection, huge, huge transformation. Um, it's, it's, hmm, this page of cups is, is making me wonder if that, you know, it's that one maybe phone call or one answer that you were waiting for, Virgo, that is um, completely, completely changing your path and that that's pushing you yes you're yet again introspecting yet again trying to figure things out um uh, what should you do where should you go is this something that is um viable this complete change of career because the death card is surrendering to something new understanding that now is the time to let go whatever you tried that didn't work out right whatever you thought was the perfect job or you thought was the direction to go in and now this is a sort of phase that or but it seems like it's this page of cops that puts you in this phase where you realize that you're opening up to something new and this that you have to let go something that you really either were promised I don't know why I'm saying that or that you you're you're moving on to something more interesting but it's really pushing you to dig deep to to let go of the past and to really close that door that maybe you thought was your future, you thought was that job, you thought was that new career, to open another that you probably didn't think of. Interesting. Um, eight, of, eight of Cups, really, really going on your own adventure, letting every, everything go, leaving it all behind, leaving all emotions behind, leaving all that situation though that you thought was yours, that, that career you needed to build, that business you wanted to start, that job you thought was so important, those people you thought were so important, because it's very emotional. You're leaving it all behind and you're embracing this new opportunity, Page of Cups. Might be something you didn't think was going to happen, right? Um, and, and it's sort of startling you, but you really understand the importance of the renewal and the importance of this transformation. And I think it's a new experience. And you are letting go yet again, Virgo. And I say this often, I feel in your readings of unhealthy attachments. 
right, to pave the way to something fuller, something more interesting, something that belongs to you. And I think that you have been trying to figure that out for a while and you really thought you got it. And I think that this is something that throws it all again, um, throws you not a curveball, but almost something that, um, wow, that you didn't expect it. All right, let's see what other cards we have here to try to figure this out. Queen of Wands, yes, you're creating, you're bold, you're making decisions, but you're leaving something behind. So either you, because these are emotions, so either you're truly leaving a mindset behind, that mindset that has been clogging you, bothering you for a while. You know, I'm trying to make this happen. It still doesn't feel right. It still doesn't feel like it's that perfect job or that perfect way to start this business or that perfect, perfect um, visualization of, you know, that dream I have. It's not perfection, yes, and you are perfection yet, right? And you are a perfectionist, uh, Virgo. You like a job well done. You are the fixer. You are the maker. You are the one that's going to be there for others and find the solutions. This is who you are, Queen of Wands, right? It can be Aries Leo Sag around you, but I don't think so. I really think this is your you're creative. You're ambitious. You are taking <coughs> taking bold decisions here by leaving it all behind. You're letting it all go. Yes, so you have the Eight of Swords, and I'm going to put these together because I feel like that is what's going on. We don't have a Tower moment. We have just this end of situation, this end of feeling stalled, stuck, even if you're gradually, you know, taking jobs, working, or even if you're in a career. The end of this thing that is blocking you, thing that is blocking you to make it all happen because you have the stop and go, stop and go, and you've had it for a while. Also, you have had, um, you know, like that three steps forward, two, spe two steps back, two steps back. But you know what it feels like? It feels like you are um, eternally unsatisfied, and I don't mean this in a bad way. It's not you. It's that eternally not unsatisfied with the situation, with the job, with this thing that you're trying to push forward and you've been trying to get off the ground. It's but and something is making you realize that this is not going to happen that way, that you're going on to something completely different yet again you're done you're done with the situation if it's someone in your environment that has tricked you or that has hurt you or a job that you lost or the situation that you're building right this business or this opportunity or this this project that you've been trying to get off the ground that is not working here you're done you're moving on to something else to this offer here that seems to make it that seems to be the trigger that puts you in a completely different direction makes you decide to leave it all and go on and go on to something else you are making the decision you're sorting everything out you don't want any other offers you're done with other offers you are now uniquely hmm, uniquely focused on this um now I'm trying, I, I'm, I'm hearing two scenarios. Either you accept this offer and that turns you, um, you know, the other way and you are out, exit out, and you're off to a new career, off to a new job, something completely different somewhere else. And you're letting all, everything you've worked on so far, you're letting that go. You're leaving it all for something new. Or, or you are not accepting this offer and, you know, choosing to, you know, move on to another idea. But I think you're accepting this because it's new, because it's fresh. But again, it's fresh. It's a new idea. When I say fresh, it's it's new. It's innovative. It's something maybe with people you've never worked before. It's on a different project. It's giving you a breath of fresh air with this Page of Swords. You have Page of Cups, Page of Swords. New emotions. 
um, are you uh, maybe heartbroken, but I'm not reading for romantic relationships, so I don't want to go there. I really think that this this project is is you know not going anywhere or not the way you want it to be and now it's transforming you're, you're just moving on to something else but look at this you are choosing to move on to a different idea page of swords um a new energy a newfound clarity uh, it, it's like it's almost like you're you're off somewhere doing something and then then uh someone out of the blue is offering you a new a new um, project to work on, and you are pushing forward on that. Fast forward, chariot, determined, determined, but determined because you feel balanced. Now, I know that I feel like I'm constantly telling Virgo, um, you know, that you're letting it go and you're moving forward. You're letting it go and moving it forward. And you're almost there. And this is what it is. And, and But this is how it really feels, Virgo, where this same project has been on the go for a, wa for a while. And it's stop and go, stop and go. And then you're taking another direction. And then you find another idea. And then you think you're going to, you know, build it in a different way or, or go uh, work out, uh, work on it with other people. Or maybe then you have um, uh, a little finance from certain people and you develop something there. And then you, and then it's like very right, left and center for the last few months, even might be years, Virgo, at least since the world situation, you know, going to the right, going to the left, finding solution, meeting new people, getting money, looking for money, looking for spaces, um, and ma making business plans, scratching the whole thing and starting it all over again, scratching again and, 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 um, getting your energy back, um, to go in a new direction, probably always the same theme, right? I don't know what it is exactly. I'm not feeling exactly what it is, but that's how it feels like, you know, over and over again, you know, scratching the board and then, and then starting, you know, starting all over and, um, and, 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 and working on the project with a different person or influx of money and, and, and meeting someone and working on it with another person and then having a new idea and going in a different direction. And then, you know, that type of thing and just trying things, you know, every week, every month, uh, there's a new direction that goes. And I think you're done with that. You can't stand it anymore. And you're, um, this page of cups is almost like, uh, revitalizing you. It's you're. it's like that rebirth or, you know, that all of a sudden you're like, okay, cool, cool. Because my thing is driving me nuts. So let me, I, I really like what they're offering me. I like these people and, or I, maybe I'm going to take it, take up on this offer and um and but oh my yeah it's it's a complete new ball game again again i have to start from scratch again it's new people a new way a new vibe you know and so heck with it i'm leaving it all there and i'm going off in the sunset with this offer that's the way it feels um and you're reorganizing yourself right you're understanding little by little right you understand your priorities are changing every time your ideas are changing every time. Your your understanding that your life is changing constantly, and you're readjusting uh, the importance of you know what is important for you, and what your priorities are, and what what you want in life, and what how you want to build your new life, and and that maybe certain things that were essential six months ago or a year ago are no longer essential. And so you are to completely um, reinventing, revisualizing your life. And that is why you're leaving everything behind. But look at this, you have the chariot. So you're building yet again, um, a new idea, but it seems like it's something completely different again. And now you're driven and focused on that. And then now you're sort of persistent and um, you're not going to let anybody get in your way on this new offer. Like you got this, you want this and, and, and no one's going to get in your way and you're headstrong, aggressive, that that is what you want now. Self-disciplined willpower to achieve that goal. So hold your focus again, Virgo. 
Um, let me know what's going on because you're asserting yourself yet again, being bold, expressing yourself because now, you know, I think you, uh, it's almost like you have um, got taken off a lot of weight off your shoulders um, on an emotional situation. So maybe this business or this project or this job, um, uh, take it as it resonates, was attached to a, ro a romantic relationship or it doesn't have to be romantic, was attached to something emotional and that you've been dragging for a while. And maybe you're delivering, delivering yourself from that heaviness, that emotional heaviness that you've had on your shoulder. Uh, that is, let, let's pull some more cards to see if we can get more messages. But no matter what, you know, this, this chariot here is that moment in time where you're ready. I think you, whatever it is, you, you are finding that that sort of balance of what you want in life. Maybe you were just trying to find what you want in life after the world situation, like many, many people, right? Because uh, the chariot is that encouragement, that willpower to, and that strength to, um, you know, that you, you, you have discovered how to make a decision with, you know, aligning with your, your values and, and, you know, with who you are and you, you're setting your objectives and, and now channeling that inner power with that dedication and, and bringing something to fruition there. So, but it's that commitment that you have, you feel, I feel you're so, you're succeeding, right? It's, it's not a time to be passive because you're reacting to something here. So go, go for it, Virgo. If this is visceral, it's almost visceral what you need to do. It's, it's, you know, it's not a time to just hope for the best and uh, maybe I'll take this and maybe you'll continue on your thing and let's see where it goes. No, 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 no. This is like... It really draw upon your willpower and 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 um and and hone in on really what is essential for you this two of pentacles so you can push through whatever obstacles or whatever last emotions you have yes on this um on this situation um powerful emperor knowing that um you know, you're in control. Now, this can be a father figure. Maybe it's a family situation. Maybe it's a father figure or a, or um, or someone around you that, you know, that's very powerful, a leader, someone financially secure, someone that can be, you know, a business owner, uh, a director, a CEO, or even um, someone around you that just has a lot of power, over you or it doesn't have to be over you just so sort of someone powerful in light in life is this someone you know um around you that is that you have to let go maybe it is but it it can also be you it can be an aries doesn't have to be but um it can be you uh taking control of your power yes the end of that 10 of wands end of that heaviness on your shoulder yes heaviness 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 but you know heaviness heaviness but it's it's not a heaviness um of a burden it's the heaviness of your choices of what you want in life compared to what maybe people think what you need in life right it's very philosophical it is your inner guidance that is going to you know push you in the right direction and i think that maybe you have been swayed right left and center by and other energies other people persuading you or telling you like it is or telling you what you're supposed to do virgo and and it's really all about you your decision your personal decision your power to do you you do you uh, Virgo, because it seems like there's a lot of heaviness there that you are letting go and you're just moving on to your own adventure. Yes. Something fair to you, fair to you. Six of six of pentacles. Now, you know, something you want, um, you want balance in your life. You just want something that makes you happy and, um, you don't want to have people around you uh, telling you 
what to do or telling you that things should be done in a certain way or you should be at a certain stage in your life that you're not or something like that, right? That's the way it feels. Yes, new adventure. There you go. You, you are going to be carefree. This month of September, it's heck with all, really. Heck you all, heck with all. Uh, I don't care. I am off to my own adventure, my own new adventure. And it's, it, you are crying freedom. You are just going on a new adventure. And that is what you, that is what you want. You don't know exactly what it's all about, but you're fiercely determined to be free to be independent and to not have anybody judge you or bog you down for whatever you're doing the right way or the wrong way or whatever it is. And um, that's what it's all about. September is a new adventure. Taking, taking on, um, it's not even a risk because I think it's just you want freedom and you're almost just, you know, carefree and, and the, the, you almost have the innocence and the spontaneity of the beginning of something, free spirit. And even if you're scared, um, you know, it, this, this new beginning, this opportunity has huge potential and, and you're at the, the, the outset of, or yeah, the outset of your, that journey to take your first step, right. In this, this thing that you, you probably don't even know exactly what it's all about yet. I think it's that, that page of cups, someone calling you up or messaging. It's almost, yes, it's someone calling you up or messaging you like, Hey, do you want to come with me on this worldwide adventure? I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm going to go and try to travel the world and see what jobs I can find out there because right now I'm not liking what I, I'm not I'm not able to do what I really want to do. So do you want to come with me on this adventure or hey, do you want to come work with me on this new project? Um you know, it's something like that uh, at the other side of the world, right? Um, and it doesn't have to be at the other side of the world. And it doesn't have, you don't have to be moving because I don't even see moving, although chariot can be moving. But it's really about your, your, you, you don't know exactly what this is all about, what it looks like, but you're so committed and you're open minded and curious of something completely new. And you're ready to embrace the new. You're ready to embrace the unknown because you're so tired of everything that you're just, you know, um, you're, you're just, um, this is about your personal journey and this is about your personal growth. And this new experience is going to boost your personal growth and your confidence. So it's time to do it. It's now. Just do it, Virgo. And even if you're not quite ready or even if you're not quite sure of what it's all about. and But I, I don't think it's alone, though, because I think someone is offering you this. Um, but this is a great potential, great opportunity for your growth, for your emotional growth, for your career growth, for your life path, right? To This is really, really exciting. I think that you're getting out of a certain, you know pattern that you weren't comfortable in and you're just like carefree go for it go for it all right let's see yes it's something maybe you're going to help people right six of coins six of pentacles maybe you're going out and helping people maybe you know you're going on a on um on a, an adventure to see the world and help people on a nonprofit or something like that. And it doesn't have to be that at all, at all. But it's really you breaking free of that, these emotions. And you know what? If it's not that, not you moving to the, the other side of the planet just to get out of that, you know, that pattern, you that emotional pattern that you seem to not be able to get. Yes, two and two times the Ten of Pentacles. You know, this is giving you that serenity and the financial serenity and the balance in your home. This is bringing back balance in your home. I like this. You're excited. You're excited with this new adventure. 
and again, what I was saying, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be traveling to the end of the world to, you know, start your life in a new country and, and start from scratch to feel free. No, this can also be completely in your mind where finally you're liberating yourself and you're able to move on a complete new adventure, work adventure, career adventure. Yes, this five of pentacles, not, yeah, these are... These are five of pentacles, seven of cups, confused, um, full of illusions, right, in this path. It, you know, a lot of things you believed in, a lot of things you thought this was going to be exciting, successful, people you were meeting, projects you started, right, left, and center. And, and I think that every time, and that's why you have the three of swords and the eight of swords, every time you felt stuck or betrayed or what the heck am I doing here, right? I'm not making that much money. I'm not sure I want to do it this way. Um, I, I I don't feel connected exactly with this thing, uh, this business I've been trying to get up and running. It's so hard. It's so difficult. Maybe it's just not for me. Maybe I should just accept that offer and just go run off in the sunset. And that's the way it feels. A lot of disillusions. Yes, there we go. Regrets, disillusions, yes, yes. And that is what is projecting you into this new adventure. Look at this. Regrets, disillusions, disappointments. It's just it's just not going your way. And 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 it's like, but you you have two more cops. You have plenty of time, you have plenty of energy, plenty of people around you, but it's you in your mind where it's not the way it's it's not happening exactly the way you want it to happen. And it's not giving you that that um fulfillment and that ambition and that pleasure, you know, that joy of creating a business or creating a project. So you're moving on to something completely different. Why do, okay, oh, all right, let's see if there's one card to, on the, I don't know, I feel like I have to, am I taking all these? I feel like I have to pull a card on this, uh, on this fool. Let me see if there's another card that wants to come out. I don't know why all the, okay, I'm not going to take these cards. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have on this fool. Yes, well, there we go. Exactly. Ace of Cups. So either you have a romantic relationship that triggers you to leave it all and run off in the sunset on a new adventure, career, career, but that it's the romantic relationship that triggers this whole thing, or it's just you going on, on to a new career, new job, new adventure, um, not knowing exactly what how it's going to be, but you're actually really excited because you're able to um, be free in your in expressing your creativity, a platform to express who you are, whatever your talent is, whatever it is that you've been trying to get off the ground. This is where you can express it. You are making a decision. You are at a crossroads, obviously. You're breaking free. You're you're opening up to the world. You're expanding to the world. And you're actually going to be able to see the world and see what is in front of you. Page of Wands. You have three pages. It's all new. All new. Excitement. Curious. You're getting your mojo back, Virgo. And this is yet again a brand new adventure. But this I, this really feels like a, the adventure of a lifetime. So if you have been trying to build the business of a lifetime or career of a lifetime, this is shifting you into a different dimension. Something probably you weren't expecting. And someone, someone is offering you the possibility to move on to something else bigger and greater. It's somewhere else, somewhere else, and and in a in a way that you weren't thinking of or weren't expecting. That was not your that was not your plan. Let's just put it that way. Interesting, very interesting. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road, Virgo, in this money and career reading for September. Yes, you're seeing clear. You're uh, you are determined. Wow. Whatever this is that's happening in the month of September, and it can, might be even, you know, end of August or something like that. But in September, wow, you are just focused and, and able, and that's what I like, able now 
to have a clear vision of what this is all about, right? You, you this, this is something that you know, you're highly educated, you're good for the job, you're, you, you have the authority, the talent to make this happen, Virgo. It's, it's all becoming very clear in your mind that this freedom, right, is for you. This new adventure is for you, Virgo. Wow, what a powerful reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and everyone for sharing, liking, commenting, sharing your journeys, connecting with these readings. Thank you so much, Virgo. Uh, and if you don't like to share your, your journey and you, you, you don't want to you know share it on this platform, which I can completely understand, not everybody wants to share their their life on this platform, just put a heart down below, right? Just so I know you enjoy this reading and connected with this reading. Uh, and if you've just stumbled upon this channel and enjoyed this reading and, or you found it helpful, helpful in some way, shape or form, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great month of September. Take care. Bye-bye.